Joining me now from Edmonton is Dr. Elan Schwartz, infectious diseases clinician and assistant professor at the University of Alberta. Uh, I don't know if you heard that last story, doctor, but boy, is that ever heartbreaking when you see the trickle-down effects, the ripple effects of what is happening in Alberta. How do you um, talk to your patients about that? So, um, you know, for months now, we've been we've been counseling patients that effectively they've been abandoned by the government and that they need to be taking measures to protect themselves. So this was um, initiated in, in July when the government announced that they would be dropping test, trace and isolate, which is basically a way of bringing down cases in the community um, and to protect our patients from, from themselves becoming infected. Now that um, that the, the Delta wave has torn through our communities and our ICUs have completely filled up with the government uh, not doing anything until far, far too late. Um, it's the same conversations. You know, we stress that um, you know, that it's important to get vaccinated, that you know, we're still going to look after them uh, even if they're not vaccinated, uh, but really we need to do everything we can to try to uh, alleviate the burden on the healthcare system right now. I think that's such an important point that some people don't seem to recognize that the idea was not to completely eradicate COVID because that's not necessarily possible anymore with the variants. The idea is to not overwhelm and crush the healthcare system, which seems to be what is happening right now in Alberta. Yeah, and clearly what happened is, um, you know, our Chief Medical Officer of Health and our Minister of Health and our, our Premier took their eye off the ball in the summer. You know, they, they had concluded based on cherry-picking data that there would be a decoupling between the number of cases of COVID infection and the number of uh, severe outcomes like hospitalization. And so they didn't uh, re uh, visit that assumption as cases started to increase in our hospitals and in our ICUs. And uh, we were met with uh, radio silence um, when we were calling for interventions, and that was over a month ago. And, and now uh, it's important to stress that the situation we're in is it's not just on the verge of collapse. Our system has collapsed. Um, as you heard from that clip, if we're no longer able to offer surgical care to anybody but uh, but the most uh, severe cases uh, defined as as l life and limb saving. Mm. Um, you know what kind of healthcare system is that? We're we're turning away. Um, you know, we're we're, uh, we're we're basically on the cusp of requiring to institute a triage protocol, which um, moves decisions on who will be able to access life saving care from individual clinicians to a, a, a protocol. Um, these are the conversations that we're having. This is literally war zone medicine. Dr. Schwartz, uh, I wish I had more time, but I appreciate yours tonight. Thank you, and good luck over the next few days and weeks.